there's absolutely no reason I should be making another video right now because I'm tired. <laughs> but then I remembered that I saw Happy Death Day recently, and it's like when you go through a traumatic experience and they tell you you need to talk to somebody, that's what this is right now. So I'm pretty much going to go into spoilers, but before I do that, if you're on the edge on whether or not you should go see this movie. Just ask yourself, are you under 30? Are you gonna see it before Halloween and in theaters? And do you have somebody you can take with to like make fun of the terrible plot with? If you have answered yes to all three, then absolutely see it. I don't regret giving them my money right now. If you're over 30, you really shouldn't even be considering this as a film to see because like what if you die and then the last movie you saw was happy death day how embarrassing spoilers you know how some films get better the more times you watch it this is the opposite of that this will only get worse it's a one-time viewing only kind of movie. I, mom, I knew who the killer was like the first time I saw the trailer, which I think was before the movie It, and I knew it was going to be that nurse girl because she was presented as the nice one, as like the super nice one, and I was just like, well, that's her. That's the one. And as the movie was going on, I only became more and more convinced that it was going to be her. Because not only was she nice, she was giving her advice slash threats. They tried to do a red herring thing with that serial killer guy, which was so bad. And I knew that wasn't the actual killer because that was just too out of left field bad and serial killery. I feel bad for the guy that they casted in that movie too because it's just like, oh, you're such a serial killer. I bet this isn't the first time he played a serial killer too. He just exudes multiple murders. So they try to throw you, but very poorly because it was so obvious. Also, it's a college and their mascots are babies. They're babies. And I thought that was, my boyfriend told me that before we saw it, but I assumed he was lying. But no, it's actually, I think it's like Bay Field, B-A-Y Field. I think maybe they're trying, like they know this movie is so ridiculous, they might as well go all the way with that. And in a way, I think I appreciate it. I think I like that they're kind of winking at their audience. Like, we know we're stupid. We know this is terrible. Our mascot is a baby. And the mask wasn't scary either. That was another thing that was kind of good because I actually don't like being scared, but kind of annoying because it's like, how could I be scared? It's a very bad looking baby mask. The deaths were alright, they were not super gory, which I'm fine with, and they are kind of creative, like the bong knife, that was kind of funny, and when the, they set the car on fire, that was kind of funny. The whole movie was kind of funny on purpose, and kind of funny because it was just so stupid. And also, after a while, and I get that it's like Groundhog's Day and it has to repeat itself, but it's pretty repetitive, it's pretty boring, and I just kept thinking, how is that guy actor doing the same thing every single time? Pretty well? Makes me think they're cheating. Makes me think it's editing magic. There's no way he's that good, because no one in this film is that good. The main girl was... She was really good at being bitchy. There was one point where she was trying, when she's like trying to confess her insecurities to her dad, and she 
That's not her strength. It was like she was telling her doctor about her genital herpes. And, oh my god, I forgot that her she's hooking up with the doctor. What a sleaze ball. So it, the movie was just chock full of one-dimensional characters and a really thin plot that didn't make any sense. Oh, and the nurse's motivation is that she was seeing the doctor and that's why she was mad enough to kill her. I knew it was the nurse, but I was hoping it was going to be something just, you know, because why not? But no, it was really bad. It was really bad. It was, because isn't that part of the like, who done it is not just the like, oh, we want to find out who it is, but we want to find out why they're doing it. We found out who it was, but then why she was doing it was just really stupid. I feel like you could have done literally anything else and it would have at least been more creative because it's like she went through a lot of work to kill her from jumping around the tunnel and then sneaking into that guy's room during the party that she just happened to know she would be in and chasing after her and killing a cop it's like oh my god that was a lot of work to kill somebody because her just being mad that she was with a married teacher was like Honey, that's just not your problem. You're dodging a bullet. I don't know. See it, don't see it. Waste your money, save your money. It's one of those. I had fun. So take that as you will. I will definitely see you guys tomorrow, I hope. And, uh, have a good night. It's your birthday. You gotta pick up the phone. That was so catchy.